because of the Bowser mini games are usually uh, informed to the uh, penalties. Ooh, 10. Alright, I think I'm going to steal from Luigi. He has the most stars, so... Sounds like the best move. Stealing from Peach was also in my mind, because of her being able to steal the coin star lead from me. But I don't really think I can do that much about it. I'd rather just have a star. Right, going to be a one player mini game. Oh, Wacker Plant, Wacker Plant! No, dang it. Yeah, Wacker Plant can score you a lot of coins in this game. That's the one player game you're going to want to have. Shell game. The Koopa Troopas hide in their chests. Find the Koopa Troop. Hide their chests. Apparently, I can't read. Find the Koopa Troopa that has the treasure. You can do all sorts of things to attack. No need for that. You just touch the Koopa and you choose. So, move is the only control option I'm going to say. Watch carefully to see which Koopa Troopa has the treasure chest filled with coins. Not that hard, actually. One gets the coins. They shuffle around, and your task is to pay attention. As you can see, not that hard to follow. It never becomes too hard. Like I said, just touch the Koopa. You don't have to do any of that fancy stuff like punching and hip dropping. Why is it even called hip dropping? It's just a regular ground pound. We didn't call it a ground pound game. Hudson, why? Alright. Ten coins I could use. You're not getting the star anyway, so I don't think that happening space really matters. Yeah, that's the whole reason I chose to do the boo over the normal star. All of these people, I'm not too afraid of them stealing stuff. Well, I don't have that many coins, Peach, so go right ahead. Now you can steal stars, so or now you're a threat. Well, the next star is hers. Yeah, I, sh I should have stolen from her. Perhaps even coins, not even a star. See what I mean? I'm not a strategist, I just do things on the go and later see, uh, maybe the move wasn't that clever. Me paying 50 coins for the boot steal from Luigi may come back to bite me. It's already happening. We've already seen all of those. Nothing new here. Well, I'm not really in a danger here. I barely have any coins anyway. Nobody has coins, so going for the chest is, <laughs> is her best option indeed. If she steals from Wario, she gets only two. Luigi the same, and even Donkey Kong would only be four coins. But yeah, the chest was the best bet. Another mini game where I was unable to do anything. I've lost a coin star now. Would have happened in any way, even if I did not have, uh, if I wouldn't have paid 50 coins for the star. She would have passed me no matter what, so that's not my fault that, that happened. I would have been closer to her now, but I also would have ha still had only one star. No, that's not true. I would have gotten this normal star. Because I could have gone through the gate. Even then I would be 30 coins poor, poorer, because of me having to go through Bowser and then the star. And she's not getting the star anyway. <laughs> go happening spaces. It also gives her an extra happening, so... May come, and come back to bite me in the bonus stars, but she's not getting this star. I think the star's in a pretty safe space now. Behind the Bowser, behind a gate where you need to have at least 20 coins for. And the two happening spaces where people usually land on. <laughs> Mush Mushroom Mix-Up. One of my favorite minigames of all time. I'm bad at it. But I like it. 
Alright, move quickly to the same colored mushroom as Toad's flag. If you're too slow, the mushrooms will sink. Move and jump. And you can also ground pound to tease your opponents a little bit. Stop them in the tracks, as the advice says. Do a hip drop on others and squish them down. If you squish them, they can't move for a moment. I usually don't do it, because I usually end up bouncing in a way I don't want to go. And that usually gets me. Hello. Oh, dang it. All the other people run away. I'm going to try to do it on DK here. No, it didn't work. Green. You can also do is here block other players when standing on the edge. You can also screw them over that way. Hello again. Bye, DK. <laughs> Blue. Bye, Luigi. <laughs> Peach is still here. Ah, dang it, Peach. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Dang it. I was not counting on that one. I was counting on the right side. Yeah, Peach is winning this game. I don't doubt that anymore. Right. Hi, Koopa. We've only five turns left. What are the standings? This always happens at the last five turns, by the way. Current standings are... I'm in first. I don't know how, but I am in first. Peach is in second. Luigi is in third. DK is last. Will we become a superstar? My prediction is that Luigi will win. Well, I don't think so. I think Peach will win. Finally, I have, a, I have an announcement. From this round, until the game ends, blue spaces and red spaces will be twice as much. Also, when you pass the start, your bonus will be now be 20 coins. This is truly amazing. If used correctly, this is the perfect chance for a comeback. The final stage has come. Keep your eyes on the superstardom and good luck. Yeah, I need good luck now. Five turns left. Can I change this around? I don't think I have this right now. Yeah, guess what I'm going to do. What I should have done in the first place. I thought Luigi was the biggest threat. I should have known better. I should have known my past experiences with Peach. I should have known she was the threat. She always is. And 20 coins is a big bonus. Where's the star now? Still in the same place, right? Nobody got it. Yeah, nobody got it still. Well, I like where the star is now. Nobody's getting it, so nobody's moving away from me in the standings. Nine. High roll. Everybody has to pay this guy because nobody goes to the left. So every time they move, he moves back to the upper space again. Another happening. Well, I'd rather have you happy having happenings than Peach. You can't have Peach getting the happening star. That would kill me. No, Luigi's not getting the star. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if the star isn't gotten anymore for the rest of this game. Bumper balls, another new mini game. Right, ride your ball and try to bump the others into the sea. Use the control stick to roll around on your ball. Just move with the control stick. Don't just push all the time. If you retreat too, the other person's momentum may carry them into the ocean. Yeah, that's a tactic I usually try to avoid because it's way too risky. Right, this is one of the most fun minigames to do. There's one big downside on it though, it usually ends in a tie, because if only two people are left, it's very hard to get the other person off anymore. But I said almost always a tie, not always. Peach was very dumb, she asked for me pushing her in. And I obliged. Thank you for the win. I needed that, I haven't won a couple of turns. I needed that win. The game star is what I'm aiming at now. No, not a Bowser space. Oh, don't kill me, please. I bruise easily. Minigame, minigame. 
Oh, there's all mini games. <laughs> Tug of War again. Dang it, I'm the one player now. 30 coins. That's all I have. Alright. Let's see if my control stick rotating is still in order. Oh, this hurts a lot. Uh. Ouch, my palm. But I got it. <laughs> I went all out on that one. I did not want to lose those 30 coins. See, I can win this mini game if, if I try hard enough. Okay, this this is what I want to see. Poor people. Well, that uh, really helped me. Peach is down to a lot less coins, and the other peoples are kind of broke now. Well, I'm the prey now, of course. Yeah, I can't prevent these people from using the boo. Oh my lord, that was a lot of coins. 15! Well, you can't go to the star because he doesn't have 20 coins. Lucky me. She gets a bonus again. She doesn't need more coins. She has more than enough. She can steal a star from me now. She's already in the winning streak, and I'm in our team as well. Bumsketball. Alright. It's a 2 on 2 Bumsketball. The first team to score wins. Press B while jumping to shoot. Well, offense, or you're the one team that starts without the bomb. You just move, jump, and pass. Or, I mean, when you're the team with the bomb, then you're offense, of course. And the controls are basically the same when you're defending. Only difference is B becomes a stealing button. The closer you get to the goal, the easier it is to make it when you shoot. Yeah, don't try to shoot from all the way back. You, there's no way you can make that. You have to be on that little half circle you see. The other team starts with the bomb, so we're the defense team now. Ah. I knew he was going to jump. Thank you. And got it. Easy mini game. I usually always win this one, even if I'm the defensive team while starting. I don't like it that Peach is getting more coins. I stole 30 coins from her from the Bowser mini game. She's already got those 30 coins back. Not really too sure I like that. And I don't even get my bonus yet. Get it next turn. Oh, that means he's going to skip on the boo. You better not get this boo, Peach. I know I'm screwed when you do. I only have three turns, so I'm, I don't think I can get to the boo. Two low rolls can save me, but I don't think that's going to happen. And there are no other players who can steal from her back, so she has won if she gets that boo. Even though I think she's still in the winning hand right now. Do we get a new minigame here? Yeah, he gets Wacker Plant. Not fair game. Alright, the concept of this game is easy. Piranha plants start showing up from the pipes and jump on them to get one coin. A total of 36 of them will show up in different patterns. As you can see, multiple appear at the same time at some point. You have to be quick because they do retract back into their pipes if you're too slow, as you can see here. Luigi missed two coins because of that here. I really don't understand why they fail at this, because it's really easy. I usually always get the maximum number of coins here, which is 36. But even if you fail at it, as, you, as he's done, apparently... You can still see he gets a lot of coins out of this. There's still over 30 coins you're getting out of this. Finish. 32 coins from one mini game. This game is so broken. That's why I always want to get it. But I always want to get it myself. I don't want the other people to get it. Remember the time when there 
opponents were very poor because of a Bowser minigame I won. Not much of that left now, is there? Not a minigame where everybody wins. Sometimes I'm tempted to lose this game, these games. Because I don't want these people to have more coins. It may be a good thing for Luigi to get 50 coins because he can steal a star from Peach. If he has over 50 coins. Give me the key, Luigi. Why do you take so long? Alright, he got it anyway. It was a straight path to the door, so I don't know why he dwelled so much. Alright, another 40 coins into play for everyone. Yeah, I'd like to have over 50 coins myself, but I don't believe I'm going to make it to the boo. No, not with, not with a 5. What play can I still make in these two turns? I can try to get to the boo if I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can only make a boo if I go for that mushroom space, but I need to get very lucky with that. I'm not going to try. I'm going for the safe blue space here. Try to crank up my coins. Possibly get my coin star lead back. If Peach spends a lot of coins and I win the last two mini games, I am still in the race for that. Yeah, she's, going to, she's getting the boo. Did I see correctly? She is stealing coins. Not a star. What? I don't understand. Was it because she was afraid she wasn't going to be able to get through the gate or pass? Pay for the star? I'm losing it. I don't understand these computer players anymore. I still lost some coins. What do we have? One versus three. She can't win this game, but she is going to win because it's Pipe Maze. Dang it. I can still win this game, but this is not helping. I need that game star. And she's already won so many mini games. Computer players always win this game. I've never seen it happen on hard mode. That they do not win this game. And once again. Finish. Well that coin star is, is gone. I'm not going to be able to get that. 86 is the lead now. And I need 30 coins in one turn. Not happening. I need a wacker plan for that. Alright, what can I do for a play now? Uh, 5 takes me to a red space or a one player minigame. Might as well go for that minigame. Wacker Plants is e isn't even here. Teetering Towers. This shouldn't be a problem. Jump across the tops of the teetering towers. Depending on where you land, the towers tilt in a different direction. Move and jump. Easy controls. Once the tower teeters over, jump with all you've got. You can make it to the next tower. Because yes, the tower will fall off. So if you're not jumping correctly or in time, you lose. Try to get for the coins. Try to go for the coins and the coin back here, of course. Left now, one coin, right now for the coin back, right again, now it doesn't matter, right, and finally left, and 17 coins got. Finish. Wario wanted the coins, Wario greedy. That puts me up to 74. I can get lucky with the next minigame. No bonus for you. 
I think DK is last. There's nothing that can change that anymore. She goes to 92. And another 10 from Luigi. Eighty coins for him, but I don't think he's a threat. Box mount. Oh, I was going to say box mount mayhem, but the game plays a trick. Sometimes the roulette goes back up, as you can see. Little funny business Hudson tried to pull. The flaming rope spins and spins. Jump the rope without touching the flame. You can only jump. The rope. Ugh, the rope will gradually speed up. It'll start off slowly and easily. Eventually goes faster. It stops at 20. If you're still alive after 20, you win 10 coins. And I immediately fail. I'm not used to this game anymore. I should have practiced some of the mini games beforehand, but no. I'm a noob. Watch that game screw me over. The set number of turns has ended, so now I'll announce the results. So, who will be the superstar? The person with the most stars is the winner, so first let's take a look at everybody's stars. I have the most, but I don't think I'm going to get any of the bonus stars. So, if it can't be decided by stars, then we must go to coins. So, let's see how many coins everybody has. The coins look like this. Everybody has more, except for DK, so that's not looking good for me either. Before announcing the superstar, I will announce the winners of each if each award. The, the, these points of these winners will receive bonus points. First is the game star, the award that goes to the player who collected the most coins in mini games. And that is me? What? I win the game star? Oh. Anyway. Next is the coin star award. This award goes to the player who collected the most coins through the game. Yeah, that's Peach. There's no question about that. She clearly had the most coins with 97. And last is the happening star. The award goes to the player who landed on the most happening spaces. And that goes to Luigi. And now, who has won? Now, for our final announcement, our winner, or superstar, is... Oh my god, I win! I was not expecting that! <laughs> oh my god, I win! That game star was mine! I did not count on that! Especially after that hot, hot rope jump where everybody won 5 coins except me! Congratulations Wario! Now that the stars have been collected, what will happen on this board? Yes, each of these boards have a story. The one on this one is not that interesting, it's just ruins, finding treasure in ruins. The other ones have sometimes have really cool stories. And this one is just the, st the power of the stars open up the chest where the treasure is hidden. Which is of course a golden banana. And it's Wario's, Wario wants the treasure. And the player who's in last place always gets a board event to uh, show that he's the one in last place. But oh my god, I win. Wario, you are the superstar, Wario. Or Trix. The one in control. I'm really glad I won my very first Mario Party board. Sometimes I can count on one hand how many Mario Party games I win throughout my entire life. I win very the very first game I play on street on the on screen. Let's go to the detailed results which you can also see by pressing start. You can see this this we already know the number of coins and stars everybody has. Peach was very close by. As you can see this is the what determines the game star, the number of coins collected in mini games. I had 117 apparently. Peach had 111. She was very close by. I really thought she had more. But I was lucky. DK only had 23. <laughs> he was really far behind. Right, we know I was at 74 for the most. Luigi even passed me. The games, the coin star was clearly Peaches. Number of blue spaces. And then done most of the blue spaces alongside DK. I didn't have any red spaces. I've managed to avoid those. Luigi got three happenings. Other people only got one. 
As you can see, every space is being held by by the game. Well, good start for Mario Party for me. And once you have cleared the board, all your stally, all your stars you collected get tallied up, and your coins. Only those from the human player, though. This is not like Mario Party 2, where everybody gets counted, even the computer players. Only the human players count. And with that, the title screen changes, as you can see. The player who has won the last game always gets its title screen. This is Wario's title screen. Always showing off that player on its board. This is Wario's board, which we're going to see later. It's going to be next weekend. Well, people, I can only say I'm glad I won. I did not expect that to happen. It rarely happens. But I did. Well... I'll see you folks next time, that's all I can say. First board is done. And... I can't do anything more today. Let's uh, hope for the best. Let's hope this is a good thing. That it... Eventually means that I'm going to get a lot more lucky than I usually end up being. So... See you next time. Treaks out.